In this video, we're going to take a look at beavers and the impacts they have on their surrounding ecosystem. This video will discuss the four main categories which beavers play a major role in, which are hydrology, geomorphology, water chemistry, and biodiversity. Beavers are often referred to as ecosystem engineers due to their rare ability to significantly change the geomorphology characteristics of their habitats. As a result, the hydrological and biotic properties of these environments also change. These changes have either positive or negative impacts on plant and animal species diversity in the overall landscape, making them an ecologically dominant species. The presence of beaver dams can play a significant role on the hydrologic aspects of a water system. Depending on the number and area of the dam, it may lessen the overall peak discharge and stream velocity during a runoff event, thereby reducing the erosion potential and the possibility for flooding in that area. Beaver dams can slow current and reduce water flow, which normally reduces the severity of flood-related events. But in some cases, it can contribute to them, such as in the occurrence of a dam failure. Size can also have an impact on flooding. In upland narrow valleys, beaver ponds are usually smaller, whereas in floodplain areas, a low dam can flood large surface areas. Due to initial differences in velocity, beaver dams that flood upland areas reduce the kinetic energy of the stream more than those that flood wetlands. Another factor when looking at hydrological effects is the age and structural properties of a dam. Older beaver dams reduce stream velocity and discharge much more efficiently than young dams in low order streams. Beavers are unique in the fact that they are one of the few animals that are able to significantly change the geomorphology properties of the environment they inhabit. They do this through the construction of burrows, lodges, canals, and dams, all of which have a large impact on the morphology of water systems. Beaver ponds function as sediment traps, and the accumulation of these sediments influence the shaping of river channels. Beaver impoundments undergo a process of infilling, therefore the older ponds generally contain more sediment than recently established ones. The amount of sediment accumulated in the ponds will vary depending on the stream discharge, slope, upstream surface material, and the extent of erosion-prone areas in the watershed. Beaver activity can have a significant effect on water quality, although the magnitude and nature of changes in water chemistry will be modified by catchment characteristics such as geology, soil type, land use, and climate. Beaver ponds store approximately 1,000 times more nitrogen in sediments per linear meter of stream channel than riffle areas. This is due to the increased nitrogen fixation of microbial activity found within beaver ponds. However, nitrogen fixation is sometimes increased downstream of beaver influenced areas, which means that they can act as either a source or sink for nitrogen and phosphorus. Fallen wood from trees killed by flooding and wood used in dams and lodges add to these levels as well. Input of organic matter by beavers, amplified by the initial accumulation of flooded forest material, is very important to phosphorus and nitrogen dynamics and represents a long-term source of nutrients to both the pond water and outflow. Studies show that during periods of high flow, suspended solids, total phosphorus, and total nitrogen were reduced in the water flowing through the beaver dams. During low flow, these effects are lessened, however concentrations of nitrogen can be reduced during both high and low flows. Beaver impoundments act as heat collecting units in the summer and cold storage units in the winter. However, thermal effects are highly dependent on differences in vegetative and topographic shading, groundwater inflow contribution, and stream volume. Studies indicate that large ponds act as a thermal buffer, raising downstream temperatures slightly in most instances. The hydrologic, geomorphologic, and chemical changes that result from the presence of beavers all come together to significantly alter the biodiversity within the water system. Beaver ponds can play a significant role in the surrounding diversity of vegetation, insects, fish, and birds. The beaver is a herbivore. It likes to feed on bark, shoots, leaves of woody plants, terrestrial herbs, ferns, and aquatic plant life. 
On average, a single beaver could cut down 200 trees a year. This clearing can promote new growth as well as providing a natural way of allowing shoots to grow from around the base. Beavers also have a preference when it comes to tree type, which results in a reduction of certain species while leaving an overabundance of others. However, since beavers rarely move further than 60 meters from the water to eat, their foraging impact is usually concentrated along narrow shorelines. Because beavers can be picky eaters and leave shark gaps between harvesting, plant foraging by beavers significantly shifts the species composition of the plant community towards non-preferred species. Beaver ponds can have both a negative or positive impact on fish communities. It has been shown that the standing crop of plankton in beaver ponds is five times larger than in unaltered flowing streams. This means that fish life is generally denser and more varied. However, beaver ponds impact reproduction by raising the temperature of the water and obstructing flow and dispersal. One of the well-known negative effects of beavers on fish species is the creation of barriers. These barriers lead to the blockage of fish migration, colonization, and isolating populations. By disrupting the flow of water, the beavers may indirectly affect the habitants both upstream and downstream from their dams. Seasonal ponds used to lay eggs may dry up. In some cases of high flow periods, fish can navigate dams and it can become a reproductive foundation in fish communities. Beaver dams which reduce flow rates also reduce the silt loads of water and in effect can be potentially beneficial for salmon which require clean gravel for spawning. However, long stretches of stream bed can be covered by silt and damage important spawning areas. Beaver ponds play a key role in the development of complex insect life, which in turn feeds fish populations, birds and mammals. Beaver activity greatly affects both aquatic and non-aquatic insect life in response to the increased sediment deposition and still water behind the dam. Insects that prefer running water are replaced by insects that prefer still water and the variety and density of species has generally been shown to increase in nature. Although beavers make conditions less desirable for some species of mosquitoes and more favorable for others, they have been shown to reduce the overall mosquito populations. It remains difficult to predict the future impact of beaver dams due to the various and sometimes often alterations. Dams may change in dimension and spatial arrangement due to events such as storm runoff, which can leave the dam damaged. Or in other cases, a beaver may repair or rebuild the dam, changing its properties and the way it affects water flow. Potential impact also increases with the age of the pond and the size of the beaver family. In general, studies have shown that the presence of beavers results in an increased species biodiversity. Although their effects can be both positive and negative in nature, most naturalists agree that, in general, the influence of beavers is a beneficial one.